Hello, this is me, and welcome to another video of Redstone. And today, we are going to be showing you, not we, I am going to be showing you how to build a sugarcane farm. Automatic, no buttons, no nothing. So that's going to be a good deal to us. So the materials you're going to need is all these items right here. And the, uh, the wood and like the glass can be blocks of your choice. I just like light gray and I like the spruce. It's just one of my favorites. Yeah, this is all the materials you're going to need. And today, we're going to, sh I'm gonna put 16. I think that's a pretty good amount. That's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You can make it as big as, as you want, but try to make it an even number so that the middle will be the middle two blocks so that the chests will be even so that you have more space. Because if you do an odd number, you'll only have an even spot of one, which means you only have one chest for storage and you don't want that. So I like 16. I think that's a pretty good amount. And yeah, the row next to the sand blocks is you're going to need to dig down one layer. That's going a little too far. So you want another whole roll like this, dug down. And then you want to dig down again, a second time, right next to the sand row. Okay, so now what you're going to have is find the middle two blocks, I think this is the middle two, and then try to dig like that. So that your collection storage would be around here. That's where your collection storage is going to be. So then you're going to put a chest like that, double chest. And you're going to have hoppers going right to it like this. Then you're going to have branch off with the hoppers. And you're just going to lead it to both sides. Just like, nope. Just like that. And now you want to do the same thing on the other side. Just like this. So make sure that it leads to your chest, so put an item in, see if it lands in the chest. If it doesn't, then fix the hoppers, make sure it goes in the direction. And yeah, mine works because it goes right in the chest. So now what you want is you want water on both sides. And what you want is you want the water to end on the first middle block. So then what that means is when you place the second water, it goes straight into the middle. Now it's, it's going to branch off, as you can see, it's just going to branch off, like that. So now what you need is you need a sort of, you really need a base, you need to kind of box it in, I guess you could say. So we could have that. Make sure you have glass so that you have sh a light for the sugar cane to grow. This is a nighttime sugar cane kind of farm as well. It also grows in the nighttime. So don't worry if it stops. A lot of other sugarcane designs are kind of like in the daytime they only work and then in the nighttime they stop. This, you don't have to worry about it. That's the good thing. That's the good thing with this. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry at all. So then put a row of glass. And yeah, that's, that's just going to, so that you can see. I like to see it. I'm sure you like to see it. And yeah, that's going to be that. So then you want to put above this back wall of wood, you want to put sticky pistons going all the way to the end like that. You can also place these walls right over here. And then what you want is you want the observer box. This is, this is the heart of the build. If you don't have this, then I guess you really can't make it uh, an automatic situation. What also you could do, and it's things I've done before, is have a redstone clock behind it and have the pistons go out every now and then. I don't like that now. I mean, I did like it before, but I changed it, so, yeah. Now you could put a row of glass going like that. Make sure you put the blocks above the observers. Okay, have another layer. So then it's like this. And now you could put a sort of, you know, and then you could put a glass roof because if you don't have that then it's not going to grow that well in the nighttime. So you want to have a row of glass just like this. So your whole thing should look like this. If you don't have this then you're doing something wrong. 
So make sure the observers are facing you, the face is facing you, and then go behind it and then place a row of blocks right behind the pistons. And you want to put redstone. You want to put redstone right behind the observers. Don't worry if it links up. It's okay. That's how it works. So yeah, if you don't have the pistons, then you're it's not going to work. So if you don't have pistons, it's not going to be automatic. Then you just have to break it with your fist. So the pistons is the heart of the build. I guess the observers ain't. Eh? I guess I was wrong. The observers is not the heart. The, the pistons is the heart of the build. So then I guess you could do, instead of having a hole, you could just have trap doors so that when you want to open it, you just flip these and check your collection chests. Just like this. And to be honest, guys, uh, you're done. This is such a simple build. It's ridiculous. It's so simple. That's all. You, that's all you need. So now, you could put a row of sugar cane. Don't worry. It's gonna be all there. All the 16 is gonna be there. There's none gonna be missing. And yeah, you're done. That's all you have. It kind of looks cool as well, to be honest. You know, that is a tutorial of how to make a automatic sugarcane farm. But before I show you, before this video ends, I kind of want to show you how, like, I just want to show you it just work. Because then this is going to prove that it's a working design so that you can build this in your world and hopefully have a success rate. So, I'll see you later. So the, the whole thing of this build, right, is when one sugar cane grows to the top, I guess, then all of the pistons extend, extending the other sugar cane. It's not just like when one grows up, that only that piston it grows. So what happens is when you place it like that, all of them go. It's not just the, it's not just the, um, the, the one piston. So say if like this sugar cane grew up to this observer, it's not just going to push that piston, it's going to push the surrounding pistons. Which I like because it's slightly less annoying, it's just saying like if you had like a lot of sugar cane growing at the same time and then when one grows the other one and then it keeps going on, the pistons will just keep getting powered and it's just kind of annoying uh, just having it keep powered. That's, I think that's what Mumbo did. No hates Mumbo, his is pretty good, but I just think that I like the pistons all extending. So when one grows, all of it does. Look at that. And don't worry if they get us, uh, if they stay here, they're going to get pushed at some point. It just matters. So, see, look. And then, yeah, this all goes to your collection chests. Like that. See that? That is this. Uh, that's the end of the video, and yeah, that is a working sugarcane farm, so bye. Hope that works.